Hey people of the interwebs, welcome back to the English Gentleman Gamer with me, Roscoe. And here we have part 8, I believe, of Retro Corner, Quest to Find the Worst Game Ever. And this is Home Alone 2 from the Nintendo Entertainment System. I think it's 1992 it came out, but I could be wrong. And it is absolutely shockingly bad. This kind of Scooby-Doo type background is as good as the graphics get. Along with old oh, biddies that... Uh, this is the third time I tried to play through this game. I finally worked out to get past that uh, dude with the little luggage trolley thing. I thought the keys that that guy was chucking at me were collectibles, so it's something I had to pick up, but apparently they're not. So, anyway, that was a mistake I made. The, that was uh, annoying that I walked straight into that guy there, and it reset me back to the beginning. It's not, it doesn't take long to get to the end of this level, if you know what I mean. It's boring. That I just cannot get past that. Oh, I tried sliding under the old deer there as you'll see and I didn't do very well. That white thing I just picked up is like a necklace full of beads that you drop on the floor and you can actually kill that guy if you want a better word with a luggage trolley but it's easier just to jump over him. I have no idea what these are. They appear to be like suction darts or something. I'm presuming for later in the game when, cause you, when you press select you get you scroll through different um, items that you've got. There's the necklace thing and there's a couple of different guns you appear to be able to pick up at some point. Now this is where it all goes tits up basically. There's an everlasting supply of suitcases being thrown at you and there doesn't appear to be anything else to do. You can't come towards, the, you know, get close to the screen to appear to walk down it just goes on his knees. You can't get in that fucking room and you can't press, I've tried and I think I've pressed the button to activate the lift. I'm guessing that's what the name of the game is. It's not obvious, it doesn't tell you. But that's as far as I got. This, so this is the fourth time I'm now going through this fucking uh, level. So Scooby Doo time because it's all the same background, chandeliers and wall lights and cladding and the same plant and everything. Uh, there's a, some, there's all sorts of shit flying out of the fucking walls. I don't know what they are. I think they may be thinking about it. There might be a key that goes past my head one time when I, I jump over one of the brush. Uh, jumping over the plant potted plant seems to make a difference. I don't know why. So this is me, I've just paused it here. And we're back into the action. So, I don't know why, I'm just fucking pressing buttons here by this point. I realise there's a little panel there. So I, have, I did try on numerous occasions to press that. That's why I took my fucking necklace thing down on the floor by accident. So I was trying to see if any, but you've got to bear in mind, I'm using a controller like a PS2 controller basically. We've got loads of buttons on it. But there's only two buttons on the NES pad. So again, failed, got hit by a fucking suitcase. That guy shakes you to death by the way if he, if he catches you. You can just jump on these potted plants if you time it right. You only get a fraction of a second on there but you can get on there and um, pick up whatever. I don't know what they are. They appear to be like slices of salami or some shit but I don't know. I've never been able to do anything. I've got eight of them but I don't know what they're fucking for because I've never worked it out. But so like I say, so the gameplay is extremely repetitive and frustrating because it's... I tried picking that key up, I mean I thought the key might be for a lift but I, mean, fuck, so I, can, I did try picking it up and it just killed me. So Christ knows what the aim of the game is when you get to the end of this fucking level but I wasn't inspired to try any further. The old deer, I don't appear to be able to do fuck all about. I can't... I, I suspect if you time it perfectly you can slide underneath her and get to the end of the level without a bit taking a hit because you can get past the rest of them if you take your time. The sound is truly appalling. In fact, I'll just leave it now for a quick second. There you go. That's as good as the sound gets. The graphics are shit. Um, I mean, the colour palette they display is reasonable. But it's extremely repetitive. And the graphics, like this little fucking gimp on the phone, this is actually the beginning of this when you start playing the game. You're basically saying, oh, I'm on the phone, I'm grassing up a little whatever, um, a little kid using a stolen credit card, blah blah blah. And then you see the original two crooks from, which I think you didn't see there, you see the original two crooks from the first film. Um, they're obviously part of the film as well for some reason, I can't remember why. Um, but they come, they make an appearance as well. I didn't get to actually meet them in the game, I presume you meet them at the end, but I couldn't be asked. This is the worst game I've played on this quest. Part 8 we're up to now, so that is by far the worst game I've played out of all of them. So, anyway. 
fuck off Formula 1 2 and uh, don't darken my doorway again. Thanks for watching guys, enjoy your weekend and I will catch up with you later. Thanks for listening, bye.